The popular midsize SUV from Buick, the Enclave, has been performing quite well in terms of build quality and robustness since the launch of the most recent generation. Despite the Buick Enclave being the subject of one recall in 2019, there have been half as many official customer complaints reported on the NHTSA website, just 21, compared to about 41 last year. Given its newness, many automotive experts anticipated recalls to occur soon, however, at the moment, it stands out as one of the best-performing relatively new vehicles in its segment. The Chevrolet Traverse, the GMC Acadia, and the Mazda CX-9 are the Buick Enclave's main rivals. Should you buy the 2019 Buick Enclave and what are its most common problems? Let's find out. Transmission Problems The 2019 Buick Enclave's transmission is rumored to have a number of issues. Users have complained about the transmission shifting into lower gears abruptly, getting stuck in one gear, and jerking violently when shifting between cogs or slowing down. Owners also complain about some vehicles automatically shifting into neutral or park while in motion. Users complain that the vehicle rolls back and the engine stalls when using the hill hold function in drive mode. Since the complaints have varied, the underlying causes of each issue are unique, and the dealer approaches repair and fix on the basis of the complaints. Engine Issues The 2019 Buick Enclave has an oil leak problem in some batches. Although the problem was first noticed in cars with an average mileage of around 30,000, it has also been reported in a few brand new cars. The timing chain cover gasket was found to be the source of the issue and was replaced by the dealer to stop the leak. Forward Collision Avoidance System The 2019 Enclave is said to have a system that is too intrusive. When attempting to maneuver through traffic or confined spaces, this system frequently unexpectedly breaks, according to several owners. Even though there is only one complaint about this problem that NHTSA has officially acknowledged, many owners have reported having it. Service Brakes Numerous 2019 Buick Enclave owners frequently complain about grinding brake noise, which is also thought to hasten the wear of the brakes. The problem still exists in users who had their brake pads replaced by dealers, so the only known solution is to use aftermarket brake pads. Tailgate The 2019 Buick Enclave's rear power tailgate automatically closes when the user opens the trunk. Additionally, some owners lament that despite repeatedly pressing the unlock button, the trunk lock will not release. The majority of problems were found to be caused by firmware errors in the tailgate control module, though in some instances where the tailgate wouldn't open, a new driver unit was needed. Electrical Short The entire radio and infotainment system of the 2019 Buick Enclave reboots when the doors are open or closed in some batches due to wiring issues. It is thought that the wiring has some sort of electrical short or grounding issue. Even though GM is still looking into this matter, no conclusion has been reached as of yet. Recalls The 2019 Buick Enclave is the subject of one active recall. A transmission fluid leak or loss of propulsion brought on by missing bolts on the start-stop accumulator can increase the likelihood of an accident. A fire risk can increase when there is transmission fluid around an ignition source. The start-stop transmission accumulator will be inspected by the dealers free of charge, and if any bolts are missing, it will be replaced. Should you buy it? The Buick Enclave is undoubtedly one of the better options in the segment if you are willing to spend an extra dollar for that premium and opulent approach in your family vehicle. This generation of Enclave SUVs has an even greater appeal thanks to the sleek design and upscale interior. One of the most dependable mid-size three-row SUVs in its class, the Buick Enclave has earned a place in our books with just one recall and 21 complaints. Therefore, aside from the price it demands, there should be nothing stopping you from purchasing one if you are in the market for a used one.